murmur is abnormal or unusual heart sound. It is also called abnormal heart sound or it is called cardiac butte. Cardiac murmur is heard by stethoscope along with normal heart sound. Cardiac murmur is heard by placing the chest piece of the stethoscope over the occostatory areas. The murmur due to the disease of a particular valve is heard well over the occostatory area of that valve. Sometimes the murmur is felt by palpation as trills. Cardiac murmur is produced because of change in the pattern of blood flow. Normally, blood flows in streamline through the heart and blood vessels. However, during abnormal conditions like valvular diseases, the blood flow becomes turbulent. The turbulence produces the cardiac murmur. Murmur is produced because of valvular diseases, septal defects, and valvular defects. Valvular diseases are of two types. Number one is stenosis. Number two is incompetence. Now, stenosis means the narrowing of the heart valve. In stenosis, blood flows rapidly with turbulence through the narrow orifice of the valve, resulting in murmur. Incompetence refers to the weakening of the heart valve. When the valve becomes weak, it cannot close properly. So it causes the backflow of blood, resulting in turbulence. The disease is also called regurgitation or valvular insufficiency. Cardiac murmur is classified into three types. Number one is the systolic murmur. Number two is the diastolic murmur. And number three is the continuous murmur. The systolic murmur is a murmur which is produced during systole. It is produced in the following conditions, number one is incompetence of atrioventricular valves. When the atrioventricular valves become weak, these valves cannot close completely. It causes the regurgitation of blood from the ventricles to the atria during ventricular systole, producing the murmur. It is a harsh blowing sound with a high frequency. Number two is stenosis of semilunar valves. During stenosis of aortic valve, the left ventricular pressure rises. It causes a greater turbulence in the blood flow. The vibrations of the sound can be felt as trails by palpation over the lower neck region and the upper chest region. In severe conditions, the sound is heard even a few feet away from the affected person. It is a harsh and a loud sound. Number three is murmur due to anemia. A systolic murmur is heard in severe anemia because of reduced viscosity and accelerated blood flow. Number four is septal defects. During interventricular septal defects, blood flows from the left ventricle to the right ventricle during systole. It produces a systolic murmur. Number five is coarctation of the aorta. The coarctation of aorta is a congenital disorder. It is characterized but a narrowing of a part of the systemic aorta. A loud murmur is produced during systole and it is heard in the earlier part of diastole also. Now let's talk about the diastolic murmurs. Diastolic murmur is the murmur that is produced during diastole. It is produced in the following conditions. Number one is the stenosis of atrioventricular valves. When the atrioventricular valves becomes narrow, the turbulence of blood flow occurs during diastole. Murmur due to stenosis of mitral valve is heard better in the mitral area. The murmur due to the stenosis of tricuspid valve is heard best at the tricuspid area. Number two is the incompetence of the semilunar valves. The murmur is produced during the regurgitation of blood from the aorta into the ventricles through incompetent semilunar valve during diastole. It is like a blowing sound with a low frequency. We also have continuous murmur. Continuous murmur is a murmur that is heard in conditions such as patent ductus arteriosus. A continuous murmur is heard in this condition. However, the intensity of the sound is more during systole and less during diastole. Because of this, it is also called machinery murmur. It is a harsh blowing sound and is heard best in the pulmonary area.